Judy Tyler was an American actress who rose to prominence in the 1950s and was a rising star. Tyler's most notable role was as Meg Brock in the 1957 film Jailhouse Rock, where she would star opposite Elvis Presley. Tragically, her life would be cut short at the age of 24. Judy Tyler, death by head on collision. A few days after filming Jailhouse Rock, Tyler and her husband began driving home to New York from Hollywood. While driving through Wyoming on July 3, 1957, she collided head-on with another vehicle. Tyler died instantly. Her husband died the following day. Brandon DeWild was a child actor who had a brief but memorable career in Hollywood. He landed his breakout role in the 1953 film Shane, earning an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor at just seven years old. Despite his early success, his life ultimately took a tragic turn. Brandon DeWild, Death by Guardrail. On July 6, 1972, Brandon was driving alone in a camper van. He lost control, struck a guardrail and a parked truck, causing the van to roll. Unfortunately, he wasn't wearing a seatbelt and was pinned in the wreckage. Despite being taken to the hospital, he succumbed to his injuries. He was gone at the age of 30. Billy Martin was a legendary figure in the world of baseball. A former player turned manager, he was known for his fiery personality, strategic brilliance, and tumultuous relationships with players and management. As a manager, he led several teams to success, including the New York Yankees, Oakland Athletics, and Minnesota Twins. And did you know he was five times the manager of the New York Yankees? Billy Martin, death by drainage culvert. Martin was in a single vehicle accident on Christmas Day, 1989. His vehicle ran into a drainage culvert near the entrance of the driveway to his farm in Port Crane, north of Binghamton, New York. He was pronounced dead at a hospital in Johnson City, New York later that day. He was 61 years old. Herb Brooks was a legendary hockey coach who led the 1980 U.S. Olympic hockey team to an improbable gold medal victory. His famous Miracle on Ice victory over the Soviet Union at the 1980 Olympics is considered one of the greatest upsets in sports history. Herb Brooks' death by sleep. On the afternoon of August 11, 2003, six days after his 66th birthday, Brooks died in a single car accident on Interstate 35 near Forest Lake, Minnesota. It is believed that he fell asleep behind the wheel. His vehicle veered off the highway and crashed. George S. Patton was one of the most iconic military leaders of World War II. He played a crucial role in the Allied victory. Patton was known for his bold and aggressive leadership style, as well as his unwavering commitment to victory, and is a towering figure in military history. George S. Patton, death by unfortunate accident. Patton was in Germany on December 9, 1945, while heading to a pheasant hunt, the 1938 Cadillac limousine driving them to the hunt collided with an American army truck. He suffered severe injuries, including a broken neck. He died 12 days later at the age of 60 in the hospital. The official cause of death was listed as pulmonary edema and heart failure. Desmond Lulin was a Welsh actor best known for his portrayal of Q the eccentric but brilliant gadget master who provided James Bond with an array of high-tech gizmos to aid him on his missions. He appeared in 17 Bond films and continued in this role until his untimely demise in 1999. Desmond Llewellyn, Death by Speed. On the 19th of December, 1999, Llewellyn was driving alone from a book signing event when his Renault Megane collided head-on with a Fiat Bravo on the A27 near the village of Berwick, East Sussex. Llewellyn sustained massive internal injuries and was airlifted by helicopter to Eastbourne District General Hospital, where he died soon afterward at the age of 85. Pierre Levegue was a French racing driver who competed in Formula One and sports car racing during the 1950s. 
He is best known for his involvement in the 1955 Le Mans disaster, one of the deadliest accidents in motorsport history. Pierre Levesque, death by grandstand. At the 1955 24 Hours of Le Mans race, Levesque's Mercedes-Benz car collided with another vehicle, launching it into the grandstand. Pierre Levesque, along with 83 spectators, would lose their lives that fateful day. Bessie Smith was a renowned American blues singer who rose to prominence in the 1920s. Known as the Empress of the Blues, she signed with Columbia Records in 1923 and went on to record numerous hit songs. Her music had a profound impact on the development of blues and jazz. Bessie Smith, Death by Lover. On September 26, 1937, Smith was traveling with her lover, Richard Morgan, who was driving when they were involved in a collision on Highway 61 near Clarksdale, Mississippi. Smith sustained critical injuries and was rushed to a local hospital where she later succumbed to her wounds. Her lover escaped with only minor injuries. Mel Ott was a legendary American baseball player who made his MLB debut in 1926 at the young age of 17 and quickly established himself as a dominant power hitter. He spent his entire 22-year career with the New York Giants. Born in 1909, Ott is considered one of the greatest right fielders in the history of the game. Mel Ott, Death by Collision. Ott was in a horrible auto accident in Bay St. Louis, Mississippi in November 1958. He was transferred to the hospital, where he died a week later at the age of 49. Ott died in a similar manner to two other New York Giants Hall of Famers, Frankie Frisch in 1973 and Carl Hubble in 1988. Dwayne Allman was an American guitarist and co-founder of the influential Southern rock band the Allman Brothers Band. Born in 1946 in Tennessee, Allman is widely regarded as one of the greatest and most influential guitarists of all time. Dwayne Allman, Death by Harley Davidson. On October 29, 1971, while the band was on a break from touring and recording, Allman was riding his Harley Davidson motorcycle at high speed when a flatbed boom truck stopped suddenly in the intersection he died several hours later from injuries sustained in the accident. He was only 24 years old. Bob Clark was a highly acclaimed film director and screenwriter who rose to prominence in the 1970s and 1980s. He was responsible for some of the most successful and iconic films of that era, including Porky's, 1981, and the beloved holiday film, A Christmas Story, 1983. Bob Clark, death by drunk driver. Clark and his younger son, Ariel Clark, age 22, died in a head-on collision on the Pacific Coast Highway in Pacific Palisades, Los Angeles, on the morning of April 4, 2007. The accident happened when an SUV crossed the median and collided with Clark's vehicle, leading to an eight-hour closure of the highway. The police found that the SUV driver, Hector Manuel Velasquez Nava, had a blood alcohol content three times over the legal limit and was operating the vehicle without a license. Lisa Baines was an acclaimed American actress known for her roles in film and television. Some of Baines's most well-known film credits include the comedy blockbuster Cocktail, 1988, starring Tom Cruise, the thriller Gone Girl, 2014, and the comedy A Cure for Wellness, 2016. On television, she had recurring roles in shows such as Nashville and Royal Pains. Lisa Baines, Death by Scooter. On June 4, 2021, Baines was in a marked crosswalk in Manhattan when she was struck by a person operating an electric scooter, falling to the ground and hitting her head on the pavement. The scooter rider fled the scene. Baines was admitted to Mount Sinai Morningside Hospital with a traumatic brain injury and died there 10 days later at the age of 65. Bob Simon was a renowned American journalist who spent over 40 years reporting for CBS News. 
He was known for his insightful coverage of major global events and his ability to bring complex stories to life through his vivid storytelling. He amassed an amazing 27 Emmy Awards and five Peabody Awards throughout his career. Bob Simon, Death by Limo Driver. Simon, the longtime 60 Minutes correspondent and legendary CBS News reporter, died on February 11, 2015 in a car accident after his four-hire limo driver was in a collision with another vehicle in New York City. Simon was extracted from the roof of the limo by rescue workers and transported to St. Luke's Roosevelt Hospital, where he died a short time later. He was 73 years old. Tara Brown was a fascinating figure whose life and untimely death inspired one of the most iconic songs in the Beatles catalog, A Day in the Life, written by John Lennon. As the heir to the multi-billion dollar Guinness fortune, Brown moved in elite social circles and counted Paul McCartney and the Beatles among his close friends. Tara Brown, Death by Alcohol. On December 17, 1966, Brown was speeding through South Kensington in his Lotus Elan with his friend, model Suki Potier. Intoxicated, he missed a traffic light, swerved to miss a car and crashing into a parked vehicle. He succumbed to his injuries the next day. He was 21 years old. Potier later stated that Brown had swerved the car to take the brunt of the crash, potentially saving her life. Victor Davis, the Canadian swimmer, is widely regarded as one of the greatest breaststrokers of all time. He is particularly renowned for his performances in the 200-meter breaststroke, an event in which he set multiple world records and won gold medals at the 1984 and 1988 Olympics. Victor Davis, death by argument. On November 13, 1989, after an argument outside of a nightclub, Davis had walked to the middle of the road and was brandishing a juice bottle at the man who was getting in his vehicle. The man proceeded to run him over. He would die two days later in the hospital. He was 25 years old. Albert Camus was a renowned French philosopher, author, and journalist who made significant contributions to the philosophical movement of absurdism. Hmm, makes me think about some of the comments I get. Born in 1913 in Mondovi, French Algeria, Camus is widely recognized as one of the most influential thinkers of the 20th century. Albert Camus, death by publisher. Albert Camus tragically died in a car accident on January 4, 1960, near Sens, France. He was returning to Paris with his publisher, Michel Gallimard, who was driving the car. The accident occurred when Gallimard lost control and crashed into a tree. Albert Camus was gone at the age of 46. Roger Earl Mosley was an American actor, director, and producer. Born on December 18, 1942 in Los Angeles, California, he started his acting career in the 1970s with roles in various television shows and movies. His most notable role was as the helicopter pilot TC in the hit series Magnum P.I., starring alongside Tom Selleck which premiered in 1980. Mosley's tenure on Magnum P.I. was significant. He appeared in all 162 episodes over the show's eight seasons. His performance as the affable and loyal T.C. brought him widespread recognition and critical praise. Roger E. Mosley, Death by Crash. On August 4, 2022, Mosley was involved in a severe car accident in Linwood, California, which left him critically injured and paralyzed from the shoulders down. He succumbed to his injuries on August 7, 2022, at Cedar sinai Medical Center at the age of 83. Just wanted to say thanks for watching, and remember, please like, subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell icon so you never miss a video. Till next time.